Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts. We're shooting a real quick video on, it's an overview of the spray guns, the new line of spray guns that are being offered by Andrew over at Emerald Coatings. We're gonna start with the top fed ones, but over the, over the next couple weeks, we're gonna be shooting videos on each one of these guns. Some of them are side, side fed guns. Some of them are uh, these airbrush. Um, he's bringing in a complete line of guns for you guys and we will review each one. I'm gonna start with the ones I'm most familiar with. So the top fed ones, uh, because we use them all the time, those are the ones that I'm most fit, familiar with. So we're gonna start with these. Um, real simple package, uh, the gun and a wrench, and that's about it. That's about all you need. Uh, they do offer a plastic cup for these things. Uh, threads right in here. I'm not quite sure if he's gonna be selling the plastic cup with the gun or without. But if you buy it without, you want to convert over to a, a PPG system, it takes a number 15 tip, or adapter, I should say. So number 15 fits in there nice, and now you can convert over to the 3M PPS cups. So we're gonna break this gun down real quick. Uh, before I do, I just wanna show you, it's a overview. It's, it looks very similar to the uh, $800 Wada Supernova. Supernova. I'm kind of hoping that it shoots like it. I, you know, I don't think so, but I think it's a, it's a pretty close copy. Uh, downstairs, the back strap's a little bit different. Trigger pull's a little bit longer, as you can see. Um, so it's not quite as comfortable as a Supernova, uh, but it's not the same price either. So um, there some, should be some differences. Anyhow, we're gonna break this down. Breaks down pretty easy. Um, the spray tip is a number uh, number 24 millimeter. It's a little tough to get off the first time and you may want to use like an open end wrench for it. It's got an inner cap here. The inner cap, um, again, recessed, goes in towards the outside. It's got a cutout on the bottom of it. So it should only fit in one way. There's a flat spot on the inside here. So you guys can't mess that up. Um, needle. And that's it. Breaks down real easy. Um, no special tools needed. Uh, let's see. We're gonna do this and this. Again, don't let anything metal touch your uh, the spray tip. So I use uh, toothpicks uh, to clean out those. I always break down every single gun that I get in, and I will break these down and clean them all up for you guys. We're gonna be giving these away for the next nine weeks. I think he said nine guns. So. We're going to have a giveaway once a week for the next nine weeks, which is really cool. You guys are really in for a, for a treat with these guns. Um, all right, so I put everything together with a spray gun lube. Um, this is a non-silicate spray gun lube. So just throw a little bit on any of the rotating, moving surfaces or threads to keep them from galling. That in there. The cap in this way. You can see it fits right in there like that. And then uh, maybe a little bit on the spray tip thread. Again, pull back on the trigger to keep the needle from touching the cap when you put it together. That way you don't gall the surface. There you go. Spring. A little bit in there. Goes together just like any other gun. Nice. Um, nice rounded edges, no sharp corners. High polished finish. So it's gonna be really easy for you guys to maintain and keep clean. Okay, and that's why you should have a pad underneath. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now, real quick, a little chrono for the haters. All right, now we've got a PPS cup set up with um, ac uh, acetone or gun wash in it. So we're gonna shoot a spray pattern with this thing real quick. I've got the air opened up all the way. We're going to 
drop this one down. I prefer to shoot my clears down around 19 pounds. Some guys like them about 22 to 24. It really just depends on you. So, but that's, that's our preference. Okay. So I'm gonna go about one and a half out real quick. Just see what that is. All right. 18. Back up a little bit. 19 pounds. That feels about right. Okay. We're gonna throw a cup on here with some acetone in here and shoot a pattern. Should be pretty easy to dial in. And that's a pretty solid pattern. Uh, a little bit heavy, so I'm gonna. This is about a turn and a half out, so I'm gonna go one and a quarter. You start to get your football pattern. I'll back that up. This is a pretty tight gun. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Okay. So that's about right. So it's about one and a half. Let's see. One. One and three quarters, actually. One and three quarters out. Nice pattern. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw some clear in this thing. And uh, we're gonna stop the video right now. Throw some clear in it. We'll shoot some clear. Let you guys see how it works. And uh, this is all totally unbiased. Uh, Andrew wanted me to shoot the video that way. He wanted me to give him the pluses and minuses of each gun, or at least what I thought were. So this is my first impression. Totally unbiased, but so far it's, it's a pretty nice gun. So uh, we're gonna cut it off right here, and we'll be shooting some clear. We'll be right back. Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts, shooting the second part of the review on the new line of guns that Andrew over at Emerald Coatings is carrying. This is a 1.3, we've been shooting a little bit of clear off out of it. Um, you can see by top row, we got some pretty tough standards on clear. We have to be basically one and done. Um, we don't have time to wet sand and reshoot uh, flow coat on these. Um, because they're production parts, they're just, unfortunately, there's not time uh, in the proposal or the bid uh, to do that kind of work, to, especially when you run two or three hundred parts a day like we do. So anyhow, uh, shot all these real quick. The gun was very easy to dial in. You, within a quarter turn of the settings that we, we set up, uh, a little more material, but really uh, fine-tuned. You can really get uh, what you need out of the guns. Uh, so you guys that don't have as stringent requirements as we do, you should be pretty happy. I mean, for a couple hundred bucks for the gun, it's worth bringing it in, checking it out. You might find something that you really love. So uh, we're gonna lay down clear on two or three jugs, just to show you guys how we lay down clear. And that'll be it for this one. Uh, so I'm gonna turn on the fan. It's gonna get a little loud.
one more video uh, where I'm shooting flat clear. Uh, we're going to try that. Settings should be the same, but I'm going to shoot one anyways. And just so you guys can check it out. But you can see one and done. It's pretty tough to do uh, with, with just any spray gun. So pretty happy with these. I bring them in. Um, so again, a little kernel for the haters. Um, join us on the forum, k2forums.com. You can email me, k2forums at gmail.com. Visit Emerald at, or Andrew at Emerald Coatings in Canada uh, for you guys that are up there. Uh, but these guns, Andrew says he will ship anywhere for the guns. So uh, look for that and look for the contest, uh, the giveaway for the next nine weeks. We'll be holding the drawing very shortly for this one. It's open to everyone. Andrew's been very, very generous. I gave him what, nine guns for you guys? Come on, man, that's pretty cool. So, big shout out to Andrew over at Emerald Coatings. Uh, that's it for this one. Hope you have a good day dipping. We'll talk to you later.